Jerry, great to see you. When we, uh, we talked about doing this, I thought we might be in Vegas and we might be able to have a beer afterwards. Don't think that's going to happen, but it's still great to catch up with you. Nice to be here. Awesome. Well, today I spent a little time talking about Amazon culture. So let, let's start there. You were at Amazon for almost 10 years. Can you tell me, is there anything you learned at Amazon that you took with you to Snap? Yeah, you know, I, I actually think operational discipline, and, and I'll call it operational discipline. It's the, the leaders are deep in the details, both technology and operationally of the space that they're running. Um, one of my favorite stories is like when I first started at Snap, we were trying to understand cost. And as we grew, our costs were going up. There was a tactic that we used at AWS that I really liked, and that was understanding how to take the cost and associate the unit of cost with the value you're giving to your customers. So that unit cost associated with what the customer is buying. And, and it turns out that it not only works inside of AWS, but it works for people that are using AWS. So we, we look at the services that we're offering to our customers in terms of the value they get, and then scale it, aggregate all of those different services we're using to describe the cost associated with the thing we're delivering. And then I hand that over to the engineers and it gives the engineers observability into how costs are being spent and where there's an opportunity to tune costs. So that cost efficiency comes straight out of the metric and that's turned out to be a real help for us on our path to profitability. Awesome, well you, uh, you are one of the best operators I know, so uh, it's great to hear you've taken that with you. But while we're talking about your time at Amazon, why don't you tell us about something you did here that maybe not everybody knows about that you're proud of? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff I was proud of. There's a lot of first, but this one's really easy for me. When we worked on renewable power, I just, I, I still am satisfied by the work that we did there. It was, it was deeply satisfying. And here's why. It was complicated. The laws that you have to understand and follow for putting power on the grid are Byzantine. And, and building wind farms and solar farms is new and it's new technology and there's all these different ways to do it. And so there was a lot of firsts and it was really fun. Um, I also think that there are things I learned about renewable power that I think AWS knows now that would be useful to the rest of the world because it, it's, a, it's a powerful thing to be able to deliver power and know that it's being done productively. Yeah. Well, uh, we are definitely appreciative of that early work you did with renewable power. Uh, we've come a long way, but uh, like anything, uh, you build on the success of the past. That's actually a big part of what the Climate Pledge is all about for us. It's uh, how we can help uh, other companies uh, and work together and solve all of these problems that we have to solve. So I'm looking forward to giving an update on that. Um, but let's get back to Snap. So tell me about Snap. Uh, sure. Snap's the company that builds the Snapchat app. Uh, it's the fastest and easiest way to communicate with friends and family through the camera. Every day, 250 million people around the globe use Snapchat to send 4 billion snaps, that's billion with a B, um, to either communicate, tell stories, or use our augmented reality. Um, and we care deeply about our customers' privacy. So we have a privacy first engineering focus and it, we do things like messages and snaps that disappear by default. Um, we have curated content that comes from trusted partners rather than an uncurated, unmoderated newsfeed. And I think lastly, we care deeply about innovation. Very exciting. So uh, tell me about how Snap's using AWS. Well, we use tons of, we use EC2 and Dynamo and CloudFront and S3, and we try just about everything. And, and the, we use it because it allows us to control costs and I don't have to spend engineers on building infrastructure. I can spend them on doing features, which is what allows us to provide value to our customers. And, and we get to use things, new innovations from AWS like Graviton and reduce costs, create better performance for our customers with not a lot of energy. Awesome. Well, uh, I'm excited to hear you're using Graviton. Uh, one of the things, uh, that customers always worry about is how difficult it's going to be to move to Graviton. Can you tell me what your experience was there? Yeah, I, we've, we found it pretty straightforward. The APIs are pretty similar to what we were using before. So it didn't take a lot for us to migrate our code over to test it out. We started trying it out with some of our customers to see how it worked. We liked the results. So we rolled it off into the fleet and immediately got like a 20% savings, which is which is fantastic because like we were able to switch this load over and immediately get that cost savings and get higher performance. Awesome, glad to hear you're getting that value from Graviton. Um, but what else besides cost and performance do you value about AWS? Well, you know, like 
when I was at AWS, I spent a lot of personal time thinking about how to make things more secure. And I know that everybody at AWS does that. It, it's a huge point of value for us. As I've just said, we care deeply about privacy and security. And that allows us to spend our time, my security team, which I love, they do a great job, focus on the part of the app that we own. We don't have to spend time worrying about what's happening in the cloud because we know it's being done for us by people who are really excellent. So I personally appreciate that. It's something that brings me comfort at night when I go to bed. The other thing that I really like is that AWS is in regions all over the world. You know, early days we had our backend as a monolith in a single region in the middle of the country. And so if you were in Frankfurt, for instance, and you were communicating with somebody that was also in Frankfurt, those communications had to travel all the way back to the US through undersea cable, blah, 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 and make its way back to that person. Well, there's a speed of light thing there. And so it could be clunky and slow. And this is the conversation. If you're not speaking quickly, it's not a, it doesn't feel like a conversation. So bringing all of that to a data center in say Frankfurt or in India or Sydney gives us real time access to that speedy tech that our customers expect. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you're making good use of AWS, but what's next for Snap? Well, there's a ton of stuff that we're working on, but there's two things I care deeply about right now. Um, the first is we're on a path to profitability and, and we're making good progress. I could never make that progress if I was building my own data centers. And so it, it's super useful for me to try things like we did with Graviton, turn them on and find the immediate cost savings. So I'm pretty happy about the path run. I'm happy about the, the partnership that we have and guess getting there. And the second thing is AWS keeps innovating and that lets us keep innovating and I can't hire enough people to do all the innovation that I want, which by the way, I'm hiring. <laughs> um, but you know, we test just about everything that comes out from AWS and, and I look forward to continued innovation from, from AWS because there's a lot of innovation you should expect to see coming out of us over the next few years, which I'm not going to talk about what it is, but I'm very excited about it. And I'm really looking forward to our partnership together to deliver that. Well, I'm disappointed that you didn't give away any secrets, Jerry, but uh, I'll have to leave it at that. Uh, I really appreciated this chance to catch up and uh, I'm looking forward to when we can actually see each other in person. Oh, me too, counting on it. <laughs>